Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about today is ARP cache on your unified dream devices, whether that's a, a dream router, a UDM, a UDM pro, uh, probably the dream wall, dream machine SE. Haven't checked it out to see if uh, this is this way on the USGs. We're using few and fewer and fewer USGs as people are upgrading. Uh, this would probably be the same on the UXG, although I haven't tried it. But you're probably asking yourself, well, what, what is ARP, right? It's Address Resolution Protocol. So it maps IP addresses on your network to MAC addresses. And it helps your network uh, get things where it's going quickly and efficiently. And um, there are multiple layers of the OSI model that are involved with this. Um, you know, the different layers, some of them do packets, frames, segments, right? But... At the end of the day, ARP, if I'm, I'm trying to run some things through a switch, I, I kind of need to know where the MAC address is, the ARP table, because there is a MAC address table, right? So there's a lot of moving pieces. But just know that the ARP table is going to map MAC addresses to IP addresses. And if you've ever swapped out your router with your ISP equipment and your Internet didn't work, but then you rebooted you know, the cable modem or whatever it was, and then it worked. Well, guess what you did? You manually flushed the, uh, the ARP table. And um, Unify now uh, gives you the option. If you go to um, your, this is a UDR, right? So if you go to your uh, Unify Dream whatever device and go to settings, you're going to see this ARP cache timeout. And normal, I don't know what normal is, maybe five minutes. You can do uh, DHCP lease, whatever, however long the DHCP lease is, and then you can do custom seconds, right? So, but what happens is when you start swapping around devices with different MAC addresses and you put the same IP address on them, and we really see this happen a lot at the gateway, right, between the, um, the ISP and our equipment, then it doesn't, you know, it's got old information, so it can't talk properly. And this this actually is a common problem and happened. But as you get these things where you can do uh, timeouts that are that are smaller and lower, where it will flush that out, then it gets better. But if you've ever run into it, that's probably what this is. So I really thought this was interesting that Ubiquity has this in the UI where we can set this. So if you're swapping ISP equipment, uh, we typically reboot just because we can. Sometimes you can't do that. Make sure that your ARP cache is cleared, and sometimes that will clear up quite a few problems. So let me know uh, down in the comments if you've got any questions about this. Um, it it can sometimes be uh, when you start talking about the ARP cache and the MAC address table and CAM tape, like all these things can start to be kind of confusing. So if you've got questions about it, let me know down in the comments and I'll answer all of the questions that I can about, you know, I'll clear this up or, or if you've got other similar things that you're having problems with, let me know down in the comments and uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, share, please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with our affiliate links. And if you need it consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Like hire us or contact us, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.